All right, everybody, we are back. We are back for another night of NCAA basketball. And tonight we have the LSU Tigers versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese. We got an amazing show coming up. Shout out to you guys for rocking with us. Make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. Of course, if you are new to the channel, also subscribe. Click that bell, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a stream for college content nba nfl and more good show for you guys tonight right this will be probably one of the biggest games heading into the uh the final four but uh, i think everybody's expecting this to be a good one for sure i'm excited for it you should be excited for it as uh, we prepare to get started ladies and gentlemen like I said, make sure you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate all the love and support rocking with us tonight. Tip off will be in about six, seven minutes, six, seven minutes, something like that. And uh, we'll get this show on the road. We'll get this show on the road. Uh, as far as getting into the stats you have for the matchup predictor, 49.9% for LSU, 50.1% for Iowa, which is very interesting. This is very close. It could go either way as far as with the spread. It's minus two and a half. Um, now, as far as the LSU last five, they beat UCLA 78 to 69. Uh, they beat MTSU 83 to 56. They beat Rice 70 to 60. Lost to SC 79 to 72 and beat Mississippi Ole Miss 75 to 67. On the flip side, Iowa, right? They just beat Colorado, coming off of a nice win there, 89-68. Uh, they beat WVU, 64-54. to 54. They beat HC, 91-65. Nebraska, 94-89 to 89 in overtime. And Michigan, 95-68. to 68. So, yeah, I'm definitely expecting a good game. I'm expecting a great game tonight as far as with the odds. The spread is 2.5. The over-under is minus – sorry, the over-under – is 167.5 money line for Iowa was minus 135 plus 105 for LSU LSU are the underdogs in this so I'm, yeah, I'm excited I am excited ladies and gentlemen uh Jacob says yo Jay are you streaming the draft this month yes sir shout out to you Jacob you already know bro uh this is good shout out to you D Tenzel go for the underdog Listen, I just I just don't know about this one, man. And I'll tell you why. I feel like there's going to be – it's going to turn into the Caitlin show, you know, the, the Caitlin and, and, and Reese show. And, you know, obviously all these other guys or other ladies, right, other gals, all these other gals um, on the team, they're definitely going to have to – there's going to be some mismatches somewhere. And we're just going to have to figure out – you know, as far as who's going to be able to capitalize on those mismatches and who's going to have the better game between the star players. Now, with that said, this is probably going to be, <laughs> I think this is the championship before the championship, to be honest, because you've got two of the biggest names in, in women's college basketball. You've got two of the, the, you know, the teams that everyone's been looking for. And I think everybody's been waiting for this over the last few weeks and months, rather. So uh, exciting, exciting times. It's very, very different to uh, be back with the, the women's college basketball. And it's been fun. It's been fun. See, I'm ready. Shout out to Tom says, that's why I'm rooting for LSU. I'm sick of hearing about overrated Clark. Yeah, you know, there's a uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of talk about Caitlin Clark and, you know, what she's been able to do. But I think there's a lot of pressure on her at the same time, right? I think there's there's a lot of pressure on her for for a couple of reasons. Where did I put that water? Uh there's a lot of pressure on her for a couple of reasons in regards to the future and in regards to you know, where she could potentially take the game as far as basketball for women. So, you know, at some point, does that become too much? At some point, does that become overwhelming? I think that's one of the things that 
you know, coming into this game is something that rests on her shoulders. And on the flip side, you got, you know, Angel Reese. She's been doing great. She's averaging 18.7 points a game, 18.7 points per game. And uh, she's kind of just been, you know, going with the flow, basking it in and, and enjoying it. So, yeah, you know, it's going to be a good one tonight. It's going to be a good one tonight. We'll just have to see, like I said, who's going to step up, who's really going to, you know, put everything out on the floor because uh, it's win or go home. It is win or go home, ladies and gentlemen. With that said, I got to grab my water. I thought I brought it over here, but I think I put it down. Uh, give me one second. We're getting ready for tip off, ladies and gentlemen. You're rocking with your boy, Jay. <laughs> She just needs the title. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the biggest the biggest point right now, right? We were talking about how, you know, she's got obviously great talent. She's definitely changing the game right now as far as for, you know, sponsorships and deals for women and things like that. So if she does move on, which we're assuming she will, if she does move on to the WNBA, the real question is, you know, is she going to be able to do it after winning a championship? And, you know, obviously this isn't the only game that needs to be won. This is probably one of the most important ones, right? You've got to get through LSU to essentially get to the potential championship. But, you know, this is, I, I think this is probably the most important game. Not to say that the others weren't were less important, but the i guess the stigma around this game because of not only who she's you know been playing and and who she's been going against and what this Iowa team has been able to do i think this is the the defining moment for her because if she can get past LSU then that's kind of like the proving point that hey now i'm ready for the championship and i'm going to go on to to win it so you know like i said it's definitely definitely going to be interesting uh we got a few minutes here until we get started but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be great. Um, it's been a while since I've been actually excited for a uh, a women's college basketball game. I know we do the championships and things like that sometimes, but uh, you know, as far as it not being the championship and there's so much hype around this specific game, I think that's that's huge. I think that's huge, and uh, like I said, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. I do appreciate the love as we prepare to get started here. We're minutes away from tip off, minutes away from tip off. And uh, let me go ahead and put the poll up here for you guys so you can vote. So you can vote. All right. So we got the poll up for you guys and let's see who takes this here or who you guys think is going to take this here. All right, there we go. There we go. Uh, Ice Cube offered her 5 million to play in the three on three tournament. And she's the only girl that will have that. And she got offered to play in the Olympic team and she will be the only college player ever. That's interesting, man. You know, uh, not only 
to be offered that amount of money. But like I said, she's definitely been in, you know, this this realm of of changing how, you know, women's college basketball is being looked at. I think that's that's probably the most important part of it all. You know, just how she's she's changing things as far as the game itself. And it's it's really amazing, you know. I give credit where credit is due. Um now <laughs> It does come to the point of, can she win the championship, right? Can she get past these tough teams and actually win the championship? That's going to be the real question, and that's, you know, potentially what we'll see tonight. So, yeah, I mean, overrated? I don't know. I don't know. If I if I had to say I think she's definitely highly advertised, but I don't think she's overrated. I think she's highly advertised. To say overrated, I think, uh, would would imply that she's not good for for what she's doing. So, I, I would say she's she's highly advertised, without a doubt, without a doubt. Uh, Tyrone, what up, yo? Tyrone in the building. Uh, WC, what up, man? Says, so am I clear to speak again? I, I guess. Why wouldn't you be able to speak? I don't know what you got going on, bro. Uh, <laughs> as far as the votes go, LSU holding it down 67%. Ladies and gentlemen, Luta's in the house. Let's go, Wrench Gang in the building. Shout out to you, Luta. Thank you for being here. Good to good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hugs and love to you as well. Uh, the Nintendo says she's only one player. She's going to need her team to help. The record's she has was an, an individual yeah so i think that's been the real question right the, the real question has been can she put the team on her shoulders in big moments and for the most part we've seen that but coming into tonight it's not gonna be oh we can just rely on caitlin they're gonna have to figure out a full offense you know and and who else is gonna step up to help her because LSU's got got a team that plays together. You know, it's not just about Angel Reese. It's 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 about all the other players as well. So, you know, we'll be able to see what's going on with these guys shortly here. Just waiting to get started for tip off between these Tigers and these Hawkeyes. Women's basketball tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm ready. Richard says the stats don't lie. They don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. That is a fact. Uh, Luda says, Jay, give myself a new knee for my 65th birthday. Life is good. Luta, that's absolutely amazing. With that said, I do want to wish you well with the surgery. Hope you recover fast. And uh, that's good. That's good. You know, hopefully you're you're healed and, and everything goes well. Keep me updated. Shout out to you, Luta. Uh, Richard says, see the number of assists she has. Well, let, yeah, let's go and look at the. Let's go and look at the stats. Yeah, you guys know I love love looking at the stats. Uh, let's see here. Caitlin Clark stats. Daniel, what up, yo? What's going on with you? Detenzo says, wait, I got one question. Is it going to be rigged? Stop it. Uh, so let's see here. She's got 30. She's 31.7. First in points, obviously. 7.3. She's 150 plus rebounds, but she's first in assist at 8.9. Very interesting. So let me look at. Uh, let's see here. So 1.8 steals, which, okay, you know, almost two steals a game, uh, 0 0.5 in the block. She's averaging 4.8 turnovers, three-point percentage, 37.7, field goals, 46, 86.2. Wonderful. Listen, it's, it's looking good. It's actually, it's not just good. It's looking great. And I think... Like I said, 
it's not the point of her being overrated because some people have said that. I think, like I said, she's highly advertised. And there's a reason for that. You know, if 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 you're great at what you do and if you're great and you can bring the views, you can bring the ticket sales, you can bring in the money, then uh, you know, they're 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 gonna put your face everywhere. That's how it goes. You guys know how this goes. I would hope you do, right? Right? So yeah. Uh we're preparing to get started. Waiting for tip off here, ladies and gentlemen. LSU Iowa. LSU is your underdog today. Underdog today. Uh, as far as the score from the last time we they played, LSU defeated Iowa 102 to 85, and what we would consider to be a blowout victory. So we'll see if they can bounce back. We'll see if Iowa can bounce back tonight, and if uh, Clark can put that all behind her. Uh, Luda says, just like football. <laughs> Listen, I think anytime there's there's money involved, you guys know things things can get a little questionable. Things can get just just a little questionable. Just a little bit. Uh Tyrone says, did she break Pistol Pete's record? She did. She did, and now she has her her name on the court. Her name is on the court. Uh we got about seven minutes. Seven minutes. Until tip off, ladies and gentlemen, seven minutes as we prepare to get started. AJ HJ Cal says Iowa is awesome. Yeah, man. Listen, I just I'll tell you right now, no matter what happens, I think it's very important to appreciate the awareness and the hype that you know Caitlin Clark has brought to to Iowa in the game itself. You know, it's great for the, the the basketball economy. It's great for college. It's great for the sponsorships, you know, potential future deals that could be made for, you know, other individuals who can step up and play at an elite level. And then obviously if she's, like I said, if she goes to the WNBA and is able to stand out and kind of keep that that energy flowing and get more people interested in watching the game, and that could be huge. That could be very huge. Lutza, of course. Of course I did. Uh, Detail says it's women's basketball. It's definitely not rigged. No disrespect to women. I have two daughters. Yeah, you know, you guys know I don't like to get into the whole rigged conversation thing, but, I, you know, at, this, at some some point, we always do. And like I told you guys before, I think there's people who can influence certain decisions and certain things because of money but uh you know i'll never just full-on believe that a whole entire game is just rigged that's just 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 my opinion uh decento said okay so tone tone says i'm on lsu here money line plus 142 25 percent bonus on DraftKings and lsu uh ttlv 82.5 minus 120 25 units apiece shout out to you tone i see you man I see you. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, Liz says these ladies will whip anyone's butt. Hey, I would like to see a potential co-ed league. Like, I don't know if it's already out there, but I would, I would definitely like to see it, you know, maybe change things up as far as, you know, the rules a little bit as far as far as when it comes to fouls. So obviously like, you know, the, the, the men aren't as physical, but you can play, you know, competitively and, and, and still have a, have a good, a good game um, that makes sense. I don't know how it could be done, but it would be cool. You know, maybe that's something that we do see in the future as far as having an actual prof professional co-ed league, that players can opt into, especially if let's say, you know, cause I get the big three is out there, but I'm talking from a point of like an actual, like, you know, sanctioned professional league for like women and men to play, to play together and have its own thing. That'd be kind of cool if they can do that. You know, obviously it's, it's going to take money and we know that the WNBA right now is not 
you know, um, doesn't make as much profit. But depending on, you know, how the game goes over the next, you know, five, ten years, who knows? Maybe things could change and then they open they open up the door. You know? Uh, Tyrone says she is a better player, but LSU is the best team. And, yeah, so I think that is the most important part that we're looking at tonight as far as Caitlin obviously being probably, you know, the best player on the court. But we all know that basketball is a team game. So if you put up 40 and your team still loses by 10, well, that means someone on your team didn't show up. So, you know. Hopefully, her teammates can help her get the victory. And, uh, you know, where she's not able to step up at or where she's, you know, where she's weak at, they can show some strength. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see because LSU is great. LSU is great. They have a solid, you know, foundation. They're great in the paint. I think that's going to be huge tonight. Obviously, we know Caitlin likes to shoot. So if you're able to put a hand in her face and and make it difficult for her to, you know, get 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 some fire going, uh, and you force Iowa to the paint, that's where things would get kind of questionable. So we'll see it soon. We're getting ready. We are getting ready. Any moment now, ladies and gentlemen, tip off will be soon. Will be soon. Uh, Luda says I agree. That would be fun to watch. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it, it would have to be, right, some of the rules would have to change as far as, you know, how they, I guess, how they would do it as far as fouls and things like that because, you know, you can't just have men out here, you know, throwing bows and things like that, like how they do in the NBA. But uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Uh, Dizendo says she likes to shoot, but number one assist player is kind of ironic. It's rare, right? She, she can shoot and she'll pass the ball. That's a good thing because I think at the end of the day, that's what you're going to need to see in this game, right? She's going to have to basically get her team going uh, while also, you know, putting in her own work and, and staying consistent because, uh, this ne this next game that we're about to watch here leads to the final four. It's winner go home. So we'll see momentarily what's going to happen. As far as the votes go, we're at fifty six percent for LSU. Still holding down. Still holding it down. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that thumbs up. We're currently at twelve. Uh, let's try to get that to 20. We need eight more, eight more likes, eight more thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have not, make sure that you hit that like, that thumbs up. I do appreciate your support as we prepare to get started here. A few more minutes for tip off LSU and Iowa coming up next. Coming up next. So you also got UConn versus USC tonight. That's going to be at nine. That'll be after this game, but I'm just doing the uh, LSU and Iowa tonight. Men's championship coming up soon. We'll get to see who's going to that. That's going to be great. I'll be streaming that one as well. A lot of good stuff coming up for college. And obviously we've got the draft, the NFL draft coming up. That's going to be huge. I'll be streaming that. Always, always a good time. A lot of discussions, a lot of craziness going on as far as the NFL as well. So, yeah, if you guys enjoy that kind of content, make sure you do subscribe. Click that bell, turn on your notifications. All right. All right. We're almost at tip off here. All 
LSU starting five is going to be Haley Vanlith, Fluje Johnson, Michaela Williams, Anisa's Morrow, and Angel Reese for the LSU starting five. Uh, shout out to you, sir. What up, man? What's going on with you, bro? Long, long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've healed as well. Good to see you, bro. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tip off, and LSU wins a tip, and here we go. Williams goes for three. That's going to be off. Rebound Iowa as Clark pushes. Sets the screen. Clark shoots the three. Hits. First shot goes. And Iowa will, will get on the board. Scores now three to zero. Ball's poked out of bounds. It's going to be taken out here. Come on, Jay. Get it together. Get it together. All right. There we go. Uh, Tyrone says, who do you have in this game? I am in the middle, bro. I am in the middle, my friend. Um, I'm leaning towards Iowa, but I just think LSU has, has the better team overall, but here we go. Clark shoots another three doesn't hit. That's going to be LSU rebound. Quick pass. Thought about the three steps up shoots that goes in. Scores now three to two as Van Lith scores. Clark drives inside, high off the glass. That goal scores now five to two. Iowa up. Uh, did you set the record in the last game? Like 27 points and 14 assists or something like that. She, I think she did set another record. Yeah. Shout out to Shadow. What up, yo? Shadow in the house. The AJ and family been a minute or two. Yeah, it's been a little while. Been a little while. Ric Flair, where are you at? <laughs> there we go. Quick shout out to my big, my, my, my boy Ron Suggs coming through with the $25 cash app donation. Shout out to you, Ron. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the $25 donation as we keep it going here, ladies and gentlemen. Little jump shot goes here for LSU. Score is now 7-4, to four, three-point game. As Morrow scores. Clark, nice pass inside off the glass. Goes for Iowa. Score is now 9-4. to four. Quick shot doesn't go by Johnson. Iowa rebound. Clark, nice pass inside again, but that's going to be a miss as LSU gets the rebound. And that's going to be a travel on LSU. Iowa ball. Iowa ball. Back to the votes. 54% for LSU holding it down, ladies and gentlemen. Good start for Iowa. Starting off pretty strong. Couple quick dimes from Kaitlyn Clark as she's been getting the team involved. And they're currently up by five, nine to four. Clark with another three, and she'll hit. Scores now 12 to four. Clark starting off hot. LSU trying to find some offense here. Sidestep pass inside goes off the glass. That hits. 
As Morrow scores, it's now going to be 12 to 6. Clark kicks it out. Back inside. Martin Friars hits for three. It's now 15 to 6. Very slow start for LSU. They're 0 for 3 from 3. Iowa's 3 of 4. Quick pass inside to Reese. She gets double team, kicks it out, shoots the three. Williams in and out, but it rolls back in and gets the shot to go. Scores now 15 to 9. And an easy layup on the other side for Iowa. Now 17 to 9. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a game here. Quick timeout for LSU. They're going to have to figure it out because Iowa's came out hot. Iowa has came out hot tonight. I think the, the big problem of what I'm seeing here right now is LSU is not playing uh, – Good man defense, you know, putting a hand in Kaitlyn's face. She's fighting through the screen and then obviously just, you know, shooting a three. She's got she's got a great, great shot, uh, great focus when she's shooting. But if you put a hand in her face, you may have a chance to get her off balance there. And then obviously you want to fight for that rebound. But, yeah, it's looking very interesting for LSU right now. Iowa's hot. Score 17 to 9, six minutes and three seconds left in this first quarter ladies and gentlemen a uh, quick timeout commercial break shout out to you guys for rocking with us today here shout out to the rich gang shout out to the family all the listeners all the watchers if you have not make sure that you hit that like hit that thumbs up i do appreciate your support lsu tigers iowa hawkeyes women's ncaa basketball uh we're at 17 likes the next goal is going to be 25 so if you have not make sure that you hit that like that thumbs up button like i said i do appreciate it also, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Click that bell. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. Uh, Corey, what up, man? This is Hey Jay. Been a long time. Was in the hospital. Just got home. Uh, got hurt on the job. What's good? Corey, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope that you're doing better now. Um, but, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're back. I hope that you're okay. And uh, I hope that, you know, you, you heal fast. You heal fast. Without a doubt, feel feel better. So yeah, we're in a quick timeout. Commercial break. Score is seventeen to nine with six minutes and three seconds left in this first quarter. Clayton, Caitlin Clark coming out strong. Uh, LSU is going to have to figure out this defense and uh, get some offense going here. They look a little slow on the start here. We'll see what they put together. Tactical, what up, yo? Tactical in the building says the rematch. Yeah, man. The rematch. And right now, Iowa's winning it. Uh, Nintendo says, so why is it that the NBA, NBA WA college women have four quarters, but men's college ball is two halves? You know what? I was talking to the lady about that last night. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, it is very interesting, but it doesn't make sense. You know, you would think it would be quarters for WNBA and NBA, and then they would just have the two halves for uh, college. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, Corey says, oh, yes, I am. How you doing? Thank you, my brother, watching this game. What a game. Uh, LSU on the rope early. Yeah, no, um, I think that's that's one of the, the big things that people really didn't expect, but they did come into the game as as the underdogs, and we're seeing maybe why. Uh, I'm doing good, though, man. I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. Glad to be back with you guys. Glad to be calling some college college basketball. Uh, tactical, yeah, it's 50-50. The poll is 50-50, ladies and gentlemen. We are locked in as uh, we get back to it. As we get back to it, LSU will inbound. And here we go. Here we go.
Quick pass back inside to Reese. Kicks it out, shoots the three wide open hits, and that's going to be a shot that goes. Scores now 17 to 12. It's a five point game as Clark steps back, tries to hit the three, can't do it. LSU gets the rebound. Reese pushes, passes it, drives inside, shot doesn't go. Reese cleans it up, and she'll get it in. Scores now 17 to 14, three point game. LSU fighting back as Clark drives down the court, sets the screen. Thought about shooting it, passes it off. And Marshall hits the rainbow three. Scores now 20 to 14. As Gabby Marshall hits the three, making it a six point game. We're down to five minutes in this first quarter. Drives inside, gets double teamed. Has wide open players, kicks out to the corner, shoots the three, money. As LSU will now make it a three-point game again. As Williams hits, it's now 20 to 17. Quick pass over to Clark. Breaking down, pass inside, kicks it out. Trying to fight through a triple team. Has open players outside, kicks it out, open three. It is now 23 to 17, Iowa. LSU has to get back on defense. They're leaving people wide open for these easy shots. My goodness. <laughs> 23 to 19 now after that quick layup as Clark gets it, fakes, throws it up, and that's going to be off as Reese gets the rebound. And she'll drive it down the court, kicks it over to the right side. Williams shoots in and out. Reese cleans it up off the glass. Score will now be 23-21, two-point game. Reese with four points, five rebounds. As Clark now pushes. She'll drive inside off the glass and one gets the foul. And she'll go to the line and shoot a free throw. Tactical, you have to contest. Yeah, you got to contest the threes. Put a hand in the face. Do something. You know, it's just. I think these are, are the, the small quirks that I have when I watch these games. It's like, listen, put a hand in somebody's face. Like, don't just stand there and let them shoot. And, you know, they're playing a zone, so nobody's in front of anybody so just run into the into the paint and then kick it out and someone's wide open for a three it's it's been like that for the last three or four possessions but LSU is gonna have to figure that out quick very quick because uh you know right now you've got Clark running to the to the hole and then she'll just kick it out you know let let Martin shoot the three or whoever else is open and that's not gonna be good because if they get hot this thing can get carried away. Luckily for them, though, right? Obviously, Clark's going to go shoot a free throw. If she hits it, it'll be a, a five-point game. Right now, it's a four-point game, 25-21. We're in a quick timeout commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as far as the votes, Iowa, 51%. They have now taken over the votes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you have not, make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. We currently have 18. Like I said, the next goal is 25, so make sure you guys hit that like, hit that thumbs up as we get through this commercial break. LSU Tigers, Iowa Hawkeyes, right? The the rematch. This is what everybody has been waiting for. Uh, who do you guys have for the men's college championship? Let me know who you think is going to going to make it there who's going to go all the way we were talking about purdue we were talking about purdue weeks ago and it's looking kind of interesting all right it's 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 looking kind of interesting i'm not i'm not trying to fight it yet but i really think that they may have been right they may have been right 
I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna count out UConn because yeah, UConn looks pretty good. I'm not gonna count them out. Um you know, how about the surprise of NC State though? That was kind of crazy, right? I thought Duke was was gonna, you know, was was definitely gonna be able to be great. And um I don't know. I don't know. It's it's just one of those weird situations now where it's getting down to the wire. Brackets are busted. Who's going to take it? Purdue bounced the Vols. Yeah, man. Listen, we were talking about this a week week ago. No, two weeks ago. And then before that, it was two months. And Purdue was, was named as taking it all. As Clark hits the free throw, scores now 26 to 21. It's a five point game as LSU brings it down. Quick pass over to Williams inside to Reese, backing down, and she'll hit it off the glass. Back to a three point game, 26 23, with three minutes left in this first quarter. As Clark drives inside behind the back, almost loses it. And that's going to be a charge. And that's going to be an offensive foul on Iowa LSU ball. I think that's probably the first second turnover we've seen. Mistake there for Iowa. Shout out to Lisa. What up, Lisa? Says I have Iowa to win over LSU, but not happy about Duke losing. Yeah, that was bad. I don't think anybody really expected NC State to be Duke, but they put up a strong fight for sure. Uh, that shot by Reese is going to be off, and Iowa gets the rebound. Clark guarded closely. Nice steal, but they'll run out of bounds. Still Iowa ball. Three-point game. Shout out to Jennifer. What up? Let's go. Jennifer in the building says hello. What up, y'all? Happy spring. Shout out to you, Jennifer. Much love. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Happy spring. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be pass inside kickball on LSU. Still Iowa ball. Iowa now holding down the votes. 53%. 53%, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. As Clark inbounds. As Stalky. Backs it out, passes again, gets it over to Clark. Wide open three, shot is off. Rebound LSU. Kicked it over to Williams. And quick shot that doesn't go. Iowa rebound. Nice fake. Doesn't hit it, and that's going to be LSU rebound. Quick pass on the break. Reese drives easy off the glass, and that goes. And it's now a one-point game, 26 to 25, with a minute 51 left in this first quarter. Lisa says, Kaitlin Clark, MVP. All right, Lisa, I see you. I see you. She got to win, though. She's got to win. She's got to win. Good steal by Reese as she gets a wide open lane, goes off the glass again, and now LSU takes the lead by one, 27 to 26, minute 24 left, as this is going to be a blocking foul here on LSU, still Iowa ball. Good defense. Good awareness, easy steal for Reese as she gets the easy bucket there to take the lead. And now we're seeing a bit of a momentum change here. You know, Iowa started off hot, and uh, now you've got LSU coming in here and switching some things up, playing some good defense. And still Iowa ball, minute 14 on the clock. And as far as the votes, we are back at 50%, ladies and gentlemen, 50%. Here we go. Clark inbounds. And she's taking a lot of time. 
And she that's a turnover. She couldn't pass it in. Five second violation, LSU ball. As LSU inbounds. Both teams have three turnovers. And for the most part, LSU has been able to capitalize. As quick pass. Nice shot. And that goes as Johnson hits. And the score is now 29 to 26. Three point game. LSU in the lead. Clark drives out. Quick pass inside. That's going to be stolen by Reese. Quick pass. And Williams hits. Score is now 31 26. Five point lead for LSU. The tide has changed. The momentum has switched. And now LSU takes a lead. Five-point game. So Lisa says, don't let me down, Caitlin. Don't let me down. Tone says, let's go, LSU. As Clark drives inside, quick pass. That's going to be tipped. They try to get it out. High three. Doesn't go. Rebound, LSU. Deep pass. <laughs> and that doesn't go in. It's going to be 31 to 26, ladies and gentlemen, as LSU coming back, taking the momentum. And it's a five point game as we end the first quarter. 31 26. Angel Reese balling might be over now. And we got three more quarters to go, my friend. Three more quarters to go. Uh, but as far as the votes go, 51%. For LSU, they're holding it down. The momentum has changed as well as the votes. Uh, shout out to you guys for rocking with us. Make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream for college, NBA, NFL content, and more. Shout out to you guys for rocking with us this evening. This evening. Great game so far. Great game so far. Um, kind of what I expected. I, you know, I didn't expect this to be a runaway game for either side. And um, I do expect to see a potential, you know, change of lead a couple times before this thing is really figured out. With that said, Iowa started off hot and um, LSU made some adjustments and now they're up by five. They are up by five. Score is 31-26. Quick timeout. Commercial break. Shout out to Low Budget Builders. This is Go Tiger. I'm not having LSU take away a victory from Iowa. <laughs> Listen, there's a, it's, it's going to be some riots tonight, y'all. <laughs> y'all already know it's going to be some riots tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is that is for sure. Uh, no matter who's when, it's it's going to be some some upset individuals, and it's going to be some riots tonight. Uh, but yeah, five point game. 31-26 as we head into the second quarter. Uh, we're in a quick timeout commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Quick timeout commercial break. All right, so they're in Albany tonight. They're in, out in Albany. I haven't been in Albany or been to Albany in a long time. Um, it's been it's been a really, really long time since I've been out there. Has anybody had any Albany experience or been out there, had fun out there? Uh, shout out to Brandon the Great. What's up, man? Shout out to you, bro. There you go, coach. Yeah, somebody's got to play a little bit of defense. See, she knew. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Big hands. It's what you need for defense. Brandon, what up, yo? What's going on with you, man? Well, we got we got ourselves a good game. We got ourselves a good game. You know, Iowa came out hot. Then uh, LSU got the momentum now. And, you know, we'll have to see what happens next as we get started with this second quarter. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for sure. Wow, four times conference champion in basketball, Angel Reese. Obviously the champion from last year as well. And uh, trying to increase on that with this year as Clark crossover step back doesn't go. Reese gets the rebound. Quick pass over to Williams. Quick pass over to Van Lith. Sets the screen, sidestep three, shot goes for Van Lith. And now LSU goes up 34 to 26, eight-point game. Clark kicks it out, side three. That shot goes for Iowa. Scores now 34-29 as Iowa answers with their own three. Van Lith guarded by... Clark, quick pass, Williams jumper doesn't go, rebound Iowa, quick pass over to Clark, she drives inside, fakes, quick pass, what a beat, what a block by Reese, wow, wow. Uh, says if Clark doesn't play well tonight, does that mean she'll only lose two million a year going to the WNBA? Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Listen, we're not doing those kind of jokes tonight. As uh, Clark inbounds, quick pass, drives in, kicks it out. That's going to be lost, and they're going to call a jump ball here. And LSU will take it. LSU ball. Shout out to you, Colby. It says, let's go LSU. As Van Lith will break it down the court. And here we go. Quick pass, right side, drives high off the glass with the travel. So take away... The points, that's going to be a travel turnover for LSU. Iowa ball. Clark, quick pass outside. Back over, nice fake, drives in, tries to go off the glass. And that's going to lead to a foul by Reese, sending Clark to the line. Lisa says, no April Fool's jokes, please. <laughs> oh, no. Reese is coming off of the court now. She has a slight limp. Oh, no. It looks like maybe an ankle injury here for Reese as they're checking it out. So that is not good. Hopefully uh, they can figure it out and she's okay as Clark misses the first free throw. So it looks like Reese may have landed on, on her ankle wrong. Uh, but Clark hits the second free throw here. It's now a four-point game, 34 to 30. As Van Lith brings it down. Quick pass over to Williams. P 
passes to Morrow. Another travel. That's the second travel called on LSU. You got to dribble that ball. And it uh, looks like Reese is limping now, trying to, I guess, walk this off here. Clark, quick pass off the glass. Doesn't go. LSU rebound. Van Lith kicks it out. Williams gets the screen. Quick shot from the free throw line. That's going to be off. Iowa rebound. As that's going to be out of bounds. Turnover. LSU ball. Uh, it's not enough just to block your vision of defense. You got to step in the space and break their cadence also. It's an art form. That's a fact, Shadow. You got to step up. Here we go. Van Lith. Guarded by Clark. Quick pass over to Williams. Johnson now gets it. Quick pass as Morrow gets it but can't finish. Iowa rebound. Four-point game. Clark, quick pass, drives inside, doesn't go foul. And Reese will check back in. Looks like she still has that slight limp, but she is back in the game. Lisa, I hope she's okay. Yeah, I think I think she's okay. I think she's okay. Uh, hits the first free throw. It is now a three-point game, 34-31. And hits the second as Stokey makes it a 34-32, two-point game. Quick pass. Left wing, back inside to Reese. Throws a little... Jump hook goes off the glass, and Reese will score. It's now 36 to 32, four point game as we approach the six minute mark in this second quarter. Clark now fighting through, quick pass to Stokey. She'll drive inside off the glass. That goes, fights through Angel Reese. Back to a two point game. Van Liff kicks it out to Reese. Reese shoots. Shot doesn't go. And that's going to lead to a loose ball foul on LSU Iowa ball. All right, back to the votes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, LSU, 53%. Holding it down. 53%. As Clark... Quick pass inside to Stalky. Double team kicks it out. Corner three. Shots off. Williams rebound. Morrow drives, spins, almost loses the ball. And that's going to be out on Iowa. Still LSU ball. Two-point game, 523 on the clock left in this second quarter. Here we go. Quick pass over to Williams. Kicked it out to Johnson. Johnson shoots with a hand in her face and hits. What a shot. Scores now 38 to 34. Four point game. Clark calling up the offense. Quick pass over to Martin back inside to Stulkey. Backing down Reese. Nice little spin. Goes up and under. Good block by Reese. As LSU will get it over Williams. Pass inside. Little high. Reese fights. Can't get it to go off the glass. Tries to get the rebound back. And they'll lose it. Iowa ball. They'll double team now. And they'll kick it out. They have space. Gets it over to Clark, wide open three, hits, what a shot. 
in transition. And it's now a one point game, 38 to 37, with four minutes left in this second quarter. One point game. Van Lith gets some space, shoots the three too high. LSU gets the rebound back, gives it to her again, takes it again, can't hit. Iowa rebound. Clark wide passes for the wide open three. They don't hit. LSU rebound. Quick pass to Van Lith. Nice little fake up and under, but can't get it to go. Oh, my goodness. Terrible opportunities. Clark with the long three. She can't hit as Reese gets the rebound. Slow it down. Slow it down. Create some offense. I'm sure, yeah, this is insane right now. This is absolutely insane. You can't miss that many layups off the glass now. Relax. Build some offense. You got time. 10 seconds to shoot for LSU. Quick pass inside to Reese. Backing down. She gets double teamed and fouled, and she'll go to the line. Lisa says, a friend of mine is from Iowa, and she's a Hawkeye. Let's go. Shout out to you, Lisa. It's always, it's always good to have a, have a friend of the team or that was in the team. Give it a little bit of extra motivation to root for him. I see you. Uh, we're in a quick timeout commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, score is currently 38-37. One-point game with three minutes left in this second quarter. Uh, as far as the votes, LSU holding it down 53%. 54 now shout out to the the last voter uh make sure you guys hit that like hit that thumbs up i do appreciate the love and support shout out to you guys for rocking with us also if you are new make sure that you do subscribe click that bell turn on your notifications that way you don't miss a stream for nba college nfl content and more make sure that you guys lock it in been a great, great game so far. Uh, definitely, definitely enjoying um, both teams right now. Obviously, some mistakes that we've seen on both sides. But for the most part, I say both teams are playing very, very well. They're playing aggressive. Um, you know, they're not playing nervous. I think that's a big thing. You know, normally when you have these big games, you see people get nervous and, you know, start making bad mistakes. But uh, for the most part, they're doing good. LSU, they've made some adjustments at defense now. You can see they're playing, you know, that that man a little better. Um, rotating back, you know, in, in transition and things like that. But Iowa, Clark, she's got a great way of creating space. Um, she hasn't been able to hit in her last few threes, but obviously she's going to keep shooting. You know, that's that's the the beautiful thing about being a shooter, right? Uh, they know that you can do it, so they'll, you know, they'll give you that opportunity to keep shooting until you get hot, and eventually you will get hot. So, with that said, we're in a quick timeout commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lisa says one point won't cut it with me. Come on, Iowa. Yeah, this game is far from over. This game is far from over. That is a fact. That is a fact. What I would like to see more, though, is, uh, you know, because Van Lith is is she's a very, very good point guard, but she's playing really, really rigid right now as far as being able to, you know, figure out the offense and call plays. I think, um, you know, she's really got to not get trapped as much and move that ball around more. And, uh, you know, set up Reese to get open in that paint. That's the beauty of having a, you know, point guard that can drive and, you know, create create opportunity for the big men in a sense. But, uh, yeah, we're in a quick timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes and two seconds left in this second quarter. It's a one-point game, 38-37, as we get through these commercial breaks. Uh, back to the votes, 54% for LSU's holding it down. Holding it down. 
as uh, we get back to it. The Elite Eight. After this, we'll be heading to the Final Four. The Final Four to see who goes to the championship. And then uh, we'll be streaming the men's championship soon here as well. So here we go. Clark has a very large scratch on her neck. I don't know if it's a scratch or just some kind of a mark, but I'm assuming it may have happened at some point to play. Uh, nevertheless, you have Reese going to the line to shoot free throws as she was fouled to try to increase on this lead here. And here we go. As she puts up the first, that's going to be a miss. Still a one-point game, 38-37. Reese has 12 points, seven rebounds, and she'll hit the second one. It's now a two-point game, 39-37. As Iowa will inbound. 3.02 left. And it looks like there's a... Oh, they have to dry off the ball. Ball was wet. All right, here we go. Iowa inbounds to Clark. <laughs> okay, the ball's still wet. So they're going to, they got to dry off the ball. Yeah, I, I guess the ball's wet, so they're going to have to dry the ball off and all right, here we go. Here we go. Iowa inbounds. Clark drives, guarded by Van Lith. Quick pass outside as Johnson steps up. Van Lith steps up, hand in the face of Clark. Screen set. Clark drives inside. Quick pass, and that's going to go out of bounds. Still Iowa ball. LSU switching up with the defense now, and they're creating real problems for Iowa, which is – Exactly what they needed to do from the start. As I will, will inbound. Shout to Lisa says LSU will be in for a rude awakening by losing this game. Wow. As Holzer gets it to go, but then that's going to lead to almost a steal. LSU gets it back. It's now a tied game. 39-39. And there's going to be a foul here on Iowa. Lisa coming in with the with the trash talk. I see you, Lisa. <laughs> as far as the votes go, LSU still holding it down at 56% as they will inbound. Quick pass inside to Reese. Fakes the shot, then tries to put it in. Doesn't go. Morrow gets the rebound. Jump hook doesn't go, and that's going to be a rebound now for Iowa as Clark will drive down the court. Quick pass inside, back out. As Falter kicks it over to Clark, back inside. Jump hook doesn't go. Same team rebound. And Van Lith gets it now, guarded by Clark. She'll drive inside, tries to go off the glass, gets fouled by Clark, and she'll shoot free throws. Or are they saying that it was no shot? I think they're going to call this non-shooting. No, it's just shooting foul. Here we go. So Vanilla's shooting free throws. And she hits the first. Score is now 40 to 39. And hits the second two-point game. 41-39. Minute 46 left on the clock. As Iowa inbounds. Clark sets the screen, drives inside, shot doesn't go, Reese rebound. Morrow kicks it out, wide open three for Williams, and that doesn't go. Clark has space, has numbers, goes behind the back, easy off the glass, layup to tie it up again. 
41 41. As Van Lift kicks it over to Williams. Back inside to Morrow. She can't hit. And that's going to be a foul on Reese. That's not good. 13 points, two fouls, so she's not in trouble yet. Uh, low budget says, Jay, who you got winning it all in the men's? So my first was, was Duke. Second was Purdue. Duke's obviously out. Purdue's still in. So, yeah, I think I think Purdue takes it. Quick shot here by Johnson. That goes. Score is now 43-43. Tie game. As Clark, guarded by Van Lith, calls for a screen. Right, tells it to back off. She's going to wind the clock down, steps up, tries to drive back inside, kicks it out, shot goes. 45-43, two-point game, eight seconds to shoot, LSU ball in the hands of Johnson. She drives, spins, easy, bucket goes. What a move. And they will tie it up to take it into the half, ladies and gentlemen. What a game 45 45 after the nice spin and little lay in by Johnson. Beautiful finish, beautiful finish for Johnson and uh, LSU. So Clark has 19 points tonight, and uh, she's been moving the ball around well. She's uh, been getting the team involved. The team has been definitely helping. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's been a good game, 45s, tie game. And uh, we're at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We are at halftime. So, yeah. Yeah. As far as the votes go, still at 56% for LSU. Shout out to you guys for hitting that like, that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Click that bell. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. I do thank you all for rocking with us today. All right. So now that we're on halftime, we're on halftime. Uh, I was going to suggest trivia, but uh, maybe not. Uh, Lisa says, Caitlin Clark needs to get real hot in the second half. Yeah, I mean, I'd say right now, you're seeing the likes of Johnson step up. You're seeing Martin step up, Stolke. Um, so, you know, I think it may be team ball in the second half. Not saying that she's not going to be the, you know, the star player that she needs to be. But I think they know that if they just focus on Clark coming out and trying to, you know, just take over the game, that could very well be a mistake because, you know, it's very easy to just switch off and then obviously – you know, double teamer. And then if she's not passing that ball and just trying to force things, then, you know, that could lead to LSU getting on a run again. So, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think they're probably going to go more so with, with team ball. And, um, because at the end of the day, she doesn't need to put up 40 points for them to win. She just needs to get everybody else involved and everyone else needs to step up as well. And they can win as a team. Now, obviously, if other people are cold and she needs to step up and do what she needs to do, then, yeah, go out there and, and, and be the person to get the job done. Um, but I think this game is very significant, and she's going to have to utilize 
her her tools to really get through uh to really get this victory for sure that is for sure all right so uh, i'm gonna take a quick break get rehydrated and i'll be back momentarily uh to get started with the second half as richard says she is feeding her team like larry bird yeah yeah keep it going right keep feeding the team keep going and uh you know iowa could be leaving out of albany heading to the final four without a doubt with that said quick timeout um i will be back momentarily I'm floating on the dance floor tonight yeah. The feeling in my system feels right Cause I came here to dance, 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 dance Dance, 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 dance tonight oh, hey. Dance, 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 dance Dance, 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 dance tonight oh, hey.
All right, everybody. So as we get back to it, as we get back to it through this commercial break, coming off a of halftime, coming off halftime, we've got the LSU Tigers, Iowa Hawkeyes, Angel Reese versus Kaylin Clark. The rematch, ladies and gentlemen, the rematch today. Tied up 45 to 45. We're at halftime. Who is going to step up in this second half and take control? Will it be Caitlin Clark? Will it be Angel Reese? Or will it be one of the other players? We will know that soon, momentarily here. Been a great game so far. Been a great game so far, leading to a tie here at halftime. Looking forward to see how... They wrap this thing up here. Good stretches by Iowa. Good stretches by LSU. Obviously, multiple league changes, lead changes. And now, I would say the momentum is probably back on Iowa's side at this point. I know that LSU did make that last amazing uh, layup by Johnson there. But, you know, it just, it just has that feel that Iowa made try to, you know, come out strong the second half and get something going. Or we could see LSU right now. We're seconds away from getting back to it. Shout out to you guys for rocking with us. As far as the votes go, we're at 57% now for LSU. 57% for LSU. As uh, the winner of this game will go against Hoover wins between USC and UConn as they will be playing at nine o'clock. That's uh, Juju Watkins and Paige Beckers. You good old UConn and USC. That should be a good game as well as uh, we prepare to get started here with the second half for these Tigers and Hawkeyes. All right. Says uh, Cadillac says, let's go Tigers. Shout out to you, Cadillac. Shadow, good game. Yeah, it's a great game. Great game. And uh, like I said, it's very, very um, interesting as far as how this this year has changed collegiate sports, specifically women's basketball. Um, you know, last year we've seen, you know, Reese and Clark really go at it. Obviously, Reese got the W in the championship. And that kind of ignited, you know, the uh, the fire for this year. Um, but it's gotten even better. You know, a lot of people thought it was just going to, you know, die off and not keep going. But yet here we are back again. And one of the biggest games of women's college basketball. Here we go. Iowa inbounds. Clark, long three shot goes. Oh, my goodness. She's got range. And Johnson will try to go back to the glass and will get fouled, and she'll go to the line. Uh, with that said, Clark shoots a long three here and just swish bottom of the net, making it a three-point game, 48 to 45. But now Johnson's going back to the line to shoot free throws. As Johnson hits the first. For the season, Clark is 56% of three-pointers from 25-plus. That's insane. As Johnson hits the second free throw, scores now 48-47, one-point game as we get started here with this third quarter. And that's going to be a block, which turns into a foul. All right. So now I will be shooting free throws here as Martin will go to the line for two. And first free throw is good. Back to a two point game and hits the second. Back to a three-point game. 50 to 47. Hawkeyes up as Van Lith brings it down for LSU. 
Guarded by Clark. Quick pass over to Johnson. Reese sets the screen. Johnson step back three. Can't hit. And that's going to be IR rebound. Long pass. Easy. No, doesn't go. Good defense by Johnson. Quick pass inside to Reese. Calling for the ball. Kicks it out. Easy bucket goes. As Johnson now has found a path, but that's going to be a wide open layup for Iowa. They didn't get back in transition, allowing the easy score. Now it's 52 to 49. Van Lith drives in and it gets stripped out of bounds. No foul. She was looking for the foul. LSU will inbound. Shout out to Robert. What up, yo? What's going on with you? Hey, Jay, it's been a while, but just wanted to stop by and say hi. How about the Yankees start? I'm getting ready to watch them at 930. Lewis Gill takes the hill. You see the hat? You know what's going on, bro. Van Lith for three, way off as Hawkeyes get the rebound. Uh, Brandon says, never seen a woman's b-ball game divide so many. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Uh, Tyrone says, come on, Tigers, close the deal. As Clark, another long three. The range is just wild. 25 points. She's five of 10 from three. And it is six point lead now, 55 to 49. And I said it at halftime. I said that I thought that Iowa would try to come out and, and really put some space in between them and LSU. And that's just what they've done here as Clark is just amazing from range She's good at creating space and if you don't want her to be able to shoot on you especially from that far put a hand in her face get in her space and uh play some better defense because right now hawkeyes are back up six by six 55 to 49 uh robert says brunson mvp well yeah yeah, I, I don't like how that ball situation played out. I mean, I give them the points, right? It's very rare that you get 61 in a game, and but you got to win it. You got to win it. How many times has uh, Devin Booker scored, you know, ridiculous amount of points in the game and the Suns lost? It's kind of like a – it almost doesn't matter when that happens, you know. Uh, Robert says, oh, I picked the Hawkeyes tonight. Okay. Yeah, listen, um, obviously we know Caitlin Clark right now is most likely the best player on the court. But overall, LSU as a team is better. But with that said, the Hawkeyes are finding a way. They're finding a way, a way to gel. They've got great chemistry. And uh, they're up by six as we get to this quick timeout commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. As far as the votes go, LSU still at 57%. Shout out to you guys for voting. Also, shout out to you guys for hitting that like, hitting that thumbs up. I do thank you for the support and the love. Uh, if you have not, make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. Our next goal is going to be 50. Uh, we need 10 more. 10 more likes, 10 more thumbs up. So make sure that you do hit that like button. I do appreciate the love and support as we get to this quick timeout commercial break. Uh, Brandon says, while Clark is in the game and on the commercials, no one minds a rig in their favor. Just saying, come on now. We're, we're not we're not going to say that we're, we're going to let the game play out and uh, we're going to we're going to enjoy it. We're going to enjoy it. It's just like when Mahomes is on TV, right? He goes out there, he plays the game and then you see him on a State Farm commercial. That's how it works. Right. When when you're chosen and. And they uh, they pay you the sponsorship money. That's what happens. That is what happens, my friend. <laughs> so we're getting to the quick commercial break timeout. Six point game, fifty five to forty nine. Hawkeyes taking a lead after a couple threes by Clark. As uh, we get back to it.
Here we go. Well, I think that's the basis of, of guarding anybody. Why would you get upset if someone's shooting on you and making the shot? That, means, that just means you got to play better defense. So here we go. As Poa, guarded by Clark now, Reese fights through a screen looking for the ball. Quick pass over to Johnson. She'll kick it back out. Poa shoots an air ball. And that's going to go out of bounds. Iowa ball. That was a bad shot. Clark, another long three. Oh, my goodness. With the hand in her face. Wow. Score is now 58 to 49. As Paul kicks it into Reese and doesn't go as Johnson cleans it up. Scores now 58 to 51, seven point game. Quick pass inside. Nice steal by Johnson. Quick pass out. Williams fakes, drives in, can't hit. Reese just tries to get the rebound. And they'll reset. Kicks it out to Poa. Back into Reese. Kicks it out. Murrow can't hit. Iowa rebound. Shante, what up, yo? Shante in the building. Let's go. Wrench gang in the house. As Clark passes it out. Gets it back. Another three. Can't hit. Rebound LSU. As Poa brings it down. Pass inside to Reese. Double teamed. Gets blocked. Gets blocked again. And then the foul comes. And there's going to be free throws here. Which will send Reese to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, 55% for the votes. If you have not, make sure you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Click that bell. Turn on your notifications for college, NBA, NFL content, and more. As Reese misses the first free throw. Score still locked in at 58-51. Seven-point game. And she'll hit the second. 58-52. Quick pass to Clark. Drives inside. Pass back to the baseline. Kicks it out beyond the arc. Martin passes back out. As Iowa's moving the ball around. Drives inside. Kicks it up. And fakes again. And that's going to be a foul on LSU. That's going to be on Williams. Still Iowa ball. Iowa now moving the ball a lot, trying to create some offense. Drive back in, tries to go off the backboard, reverse, doesn't go. LSU rebound as Poa drives now, kicks it over to Johnson. Step back, drives in. She can't get it to go with the reverse. Hawkeyes rebound. So there's going to be a foul here. Non-shooting foul. So Iowa will inbound. As Johnson gets hit with the foul. And Van Lith will come back in for LSU. So seven, six point game, 58 to 52. Iowa has the ball, they'll inbound. And that's going to go out of bounds. Still, Iowa ball are being poked out by Reese. Clark inbounds. Gets it over to Martin. 
Gets it back. Wide open three. But there's going to be a foul here before the shot. So don't count the three. And Iowa will inbound again. Martin back over to Clark. Sidestep gets back there for three. Wide open. Wide open. 61 to 52. It's a nine point game. Quick pass inside to Reese. Almost loses it. Gets it over to Poa. She shoots too much. Rebound, Hawkeyes. Back over to Clark. Long three. Can't hit. Bounces off the back of the backboard. As Reese gets the rebound. Drives inside. Your little Euro step doesn't go. Morrow can't clean it up. Once again, won't go. And they're just having a tough time at it as Iowa is capitalizing right now on everything. Kick ball. Robert says, yeah, Nikola Jokic will most likely win the MVP again, but the Knicks are a great team when healthy, and so, so when not. Yeah, you know how that goes, yo. Listen, I, I see all this, like, yelling and talking back and forth and stuff, and it's like, if you let her get space, she's going to shoot and almost make it every time. Like, you have to be up on her body. Don't give her the ability to shoot. Wow. Her ability to create space is just absolutely amazing. So they got to figure it out. Somebody's got to figure it out. Shout out to James. What up, yo? Says, hey, this isn't football. Yeah, we've got some months to go. But, hey, we've got college basketball right now. We got the draft coming up in a few weeks. While we streaming the draft, you guys know how we do. Always, always a good time. Uh, I'm excited for the draft. I think it's going to be crazy. Obviously, uh, you know, the, well, I don't want to get into that. But Caleb Williams is turning into a story and a half. And I've really been fighting. Fighting not dropping a video in regards to Caleb Williams and what I really want to say. What I really want to say. I ain't going to say it because, you know. Got to keep it PG-13 around these parts. Uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a quick timeout commercial break. As uh, <laughs> We're in a quick timeout commercial break as uh, we're watching these Tigers and these Hawkeyes as Caitlin Clark has been going off from three. Uh, nothing short of spectacular as she creates space and hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Scores now 61 to 52. It's a nine point game with four minutes and 23 seconds left in this third quarter. As far as the votes go, LSU still holding it down, though. LSU still holding down the votes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not, make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. Click that bell, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. If you are new to the channel, I do uh, thank you all for rocking with us. During this amazing, amazing game, you know, there's been some great, some great games, but obviously everyone was was anticipating uh, this rematch, and this has been very, very great for sure. And I'm glad that we could share this time together. Uh, we're in a timeout commercial break, as uh, James says, he is the next Colin Cap. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna go there. I'm just not sure. Uh, with that said, Juju Watkins and Paige Becker is Beckers is next as USC will go against UConn. That's going to be a good one as well. Uh, guy says, say it with your chest. Always, always. You just got to be careful what you say with your chest. But whatever you do say, make sure you say it with your chest. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paige Beckers. I was watching Paige the other night. She was amazing. She was amazing for UConn. I like what that program is doing, and I think they've got a solid team as well. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets to the championship as uh, Clark quick pass inside. And this is going to be stolen by LSU as Van Lith gets it guarded by Clark. She'll drive inside and gets 
the ball poked out of bounds. Still LSU ball as Clark poked it out of bounds. Van Lith, you got a Euro. You got a Euro step and uh, finish Van Lith as she will inbound here for LSU. Charlenza, what up? What's going on with you? Here we go. Corner pass. Oh, that's going to be stolen by Clark. Create some space. Quick pass inside. Smart play. I like it. What a dime. And it is now 63 to 52. The biggest lead of the game. 11 points as LSU is trying to find some offense as Reese tries to fight through, gets it back. Will get fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot free throws. She'll go to the line to shoot free throws. Uh, Bruce says, haven't watched you since the Super Bowl. Glad to see you are doing well. Amazing. Shout out to you, Bruce. Yeah, man. Good to see you. Much love, man. We still here. We still here. As Reese misses the first free throw, score is still locked in at 63 to 52. Clark playing great, great basketball as Reese misses the second free throw. And Falter, what a gets blocked on the other side by Johnson. Good defense by Johnson. Still 11 point game. Shout out to AK. I honestly think if Caitlin Clark were a man with the skills she possesses, she'd be better than Jordan and LeBron. She's phenomenal. All right now. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. All right, Clark's going to drive inside, uh, kicks it out. Martin tries to go for three, doesn't hit. That's going to be a rebound by Williams for LSU. Makes a nice move, shoots, doesn't go. Rebound by the Hawkeyes, out of bounds. It looks like Martin took a shot to the face. Or the ear. And it looks like there's going to be a quick little timeout here. Uh, Stephen Case is Clark full showcase in this game. She has. She has been doing phenomenal. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, Clark will probably be the best player in women's basketball history when all is said and done. We got to see. If she can win a championship and then go into the WNBA and, and keep this consistent, she very well could could be named that individual. Nice spin. Floater goes as the Hawkeyes will now extend their lead 65 to 52. 13 points, the biggest lead of the game. As Van Lith, guarded by Clark, gets the screen, steps up, kicks it out, and that's going to be out of bounds. LSU is falling apart right now with two minutes and 45 seconds left in this third quarter. Uh, she is, has everything. She's a court general, great shooter, gets assists. She does it all. She does. Uh, her awareness, ability to move the ball, get the teammates involved. And I think, you know, the her becoming a leader I think is becoming very important too, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So they're going to review the play. So they're going to review it. All right. Um, Shonda says she's a hooper for real. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, AK says the Iowa team isn't half as good without her. She's telling the mid game where they need to be and what they should do. That's the craziest part to me. Yeah. So, so and that's why I said, you know, b becoming a leader, I think is probably the biggest um, part of her growth and progression, right? Because anybody can just jack up shots and, and, you know, do that, but her actually becoming the leader that she needs to be for this team is the most important part of it all. And that is what may potentially lead them to, the championship without a doubt airman says i hope we get to see that you can't see me oh that'll yeah start start a little stuff it's probably gonna start a little stuff
Yeah, I don't I don't think we should be reviewing this. It should have just been a common foul. She was going for the ball. Like let's let's keep it moving. Don't you know slow down the momentum. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh Ron says, Jay, since I had both knees replaced, I don't feel like I'm six eleven anymore. Really? Do, do you feel like you're taller or shorter? Shout out to you, Ron. Uh, Bruce says, what's your opinion on Caitlin's dad telling her to stop complaining and just play the game? Um, I think that's that's good, right? Because if anyone knows how she really is off, off the court, it's going to be her dad, right? So telling her to calm down, get out of her emotions is a good thing because it should help her focus and just play, play ball, you know, play ball, go out there and be great. And, um, you know, don't, don't focus on the theatrics as that's going to be a good block here. Quick pass inside to Reese off the glass. That goes now it's 65 to 54 11 point game. Clark gets it, sidestep three, can't hit. Rebound Johnson, loose ball foul on the Hawkeyes as we have two minutes and nine seconds left in this third quarter. Uh, says Reese is a baller too, though, fighting through the injury. She definitely has my respect. Yeah, without a doubt, there's, there's a few, well, more than a few. Um, I'd say there's definitely a handful of stars on the court on both sides that that you know will do well if they make it to the WNBA for sure. Uh Johnson fights through the screen, quick shot doesn't go. Nice steal as LSU gets it going. It's now 65-56, 9 point game. And LSU's trying to fight and get some momentum back. Quick shot here doesn't go. Rebound Van Lith for LSU. She'll drive inside. Little Euro shoots off the glass. Doesn't go. Reese can't clean it up. She'll get it back. Passes it off. And Johnson will get it going. Scores now 65-58. Easy pass inside. What a block. Oh, my goodness. Johnson with the block. And I think it's going to be their ball because their ball, it rolled off her hand. What a defensive play by Johnson for LSU, and they'll get the ball. LSU inbounds. Poe will bring it down the court, guarded by Clark. Van Liff looking for the ball, putting her hands up. Van Liff, go to the ball. As Reese gets it, it was almost stolen. She gets triple teamed. Hawkeyes get the steal. And see, that's the problem. They get in their emotions. Hey, pass me the ball. No, go to the ball instead of wanting someone to just pass it to you. As Poa tries to shoot the three, that doesn't go, and that's going to lead to a loose ball foul on Morrow. Iowa ball. Cameron, what up, yo? What's going on with you? Tyrone says, weather that storm. Yeah, man. Without a doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Click that bell. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. College, NBA, NFL, and more. Make sure you lock it in. Uh, Steve, what up, yo? What's going on with you, Steve, in the house? Let's go. So hits the first free throw, a falter. Scores now 68-58, 10-point game. 44 seconds left in this third quarter. And hits the second, 11-point game. LSU will inbound. And they've got one quarter and 44.2 seconds left to try and shake this up here. Iowa will be moving on to the final four, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Sassy. Says, go Hawkeyes. Phillips says, I feel like I am new to the channel. (laughs) 
New with the wrench as Van Lift throws it out of bounds. And this is not looking good. She's been doing a lot of complaining. And unfortunately, I think she's got in her own her own mind. Uh, Philip, you're not new to the channel. You're an OG, my friend. OG's in the building. Shout out to the wrench gang in the house. Let's go. Uh, the voting has changed things as far as for Iowa. They're up 54% now, holding it down. And here we go. Clark bringing it down the court, guarded by Van Lith. 11-point game, 23 seconds on the clock. Clark waiting, trying to drain as much of this clock as she can. Backing down, steps up. Drives inside, off the glass, doesn't go. Reese gets the rebound, six seconds to shoot. Johnson drives, three, step back, shoots, doesn't go. And that'll end the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Takes us to the fourth quarter. And there it is. Uh, shout out to you, Bruce, as I enjoy your neutral commentating. Maybe makes for enjoyable watch and listen. Thanks again. Yeah, man. You know, that's the the, the beautiful thing about um, this channel is, you know, started started doing this almost five years ago now. This is our fifth season with sports, college, football, and all that stuff. And um, it, took, it took me some time to really understand as far as how to call games like unbiased even when my own teams are playing and um it's been great it's been great because it's allowed me to to really just tap into a great energy as far as you know for both time both teams and actually appreciate uh the game itself and and the talent that's that's on the field or the court so yeah i love it man i love it i do thank you for that without a doubt and shout out to you guys for rocking with us uh, make sure you hit that like, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe as we get to the quick commercial break. Time out. Uh, we're heading to the fourth quarter. Heading to the fourth quarter. I'm going to grab a quick water, and I'll be back momentarily. to uh, Phillips' as I have the Hawkeyes, too. I'm sick of losing to Middle America. <laughs> Sassy says, I was born there, so it's my duty to root for them. Shout out to you, Sassy. Much love. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to each and every one of you for rocking with us during this uh, amazing, amazing game. The LSU Tigers, Iowa Hawkeyes, 69 to 58 to score as we head to the fourth Quarter. Ric Flair is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Ric Flair is in the building. Shout out to the Wrench Game, the family, all the listeners, all the watchers. I do thank you all for being being with us tonight. Uh, great game, great game. Obviously, Iowa being uh, or LSU being the underdogs, and uh, Kaitlin Clark has came out swinging in this second half. We'll have to see what happens in this fourth quarter, and uh, who. It's going to take over. As far as the votes go, we have 55% for Iowa holding it down. 55% for Iowa holding it down. 
as uh, we prepare to get started with this fourth quarter. With that said, make sure you guys hit that like, that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Our next goal is going to be 75. So if you have not, make sure you hit that like, that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Click that bell, turning your notifications so you don't miss a stream as we get back to it. Uh, Fred Lucky, what up, yo? What's going on with you, bro? Uh, says, can you see a comeback? Where's the guy from Happy Gilmore? You're never going to drain the shot. <laughs> Shout out to you, Ron. All right, here we go. Quick pass, corner shot. Three goals for LSU. And scores now 69 to 61, eight point game. As Clark drives inside, kicks it over, quick shot, doesn't go. And that's going to be a foul. LSU ball. So Van Lith brings it down the court, quick pass over to Johnson. Pass inside to Reese, backing down. Kicks it out. Morrow drives off the glass. Shot goes. And it's now 69 to 63. Six point game as we approach the nine minute mark. Quick pass inside Clark. Another pass, and that's going to lead to a foul as O'Brien will go to the line to shoot free throws. Fred Lucky, what up, man? What's going on with you? I see you, Ron. <laughs> I see you, bro. Uh, Steven says, Iowa can't let LSU get back in the game in the fourth. Shante says, Jay, how do you feel about the new kickoff rule? I'm not a fan, uh, but understand it will limit concussions. I feel like we've seen it coming. Right, we we've seen it coming, and you know they always have these rules and different things that's going to change the year. Now I think for some reason it's like every off season now we're dealing with like rule changes. Um, so we'll just have to see how it goes. I think it's stupid. I think we should have just kept what we had, but you know the 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 hip tackle thing now and now the kickoff re returns is kind of crazy. But here we go. Van Lith guarded by Clark. Kicks it over to Johnson inside to Reese. Can't hit. And that's going to be a Clark rebound as she drives back down the court. Brings it back out. Gives it to Martin. High off the glass. Shot goes. Scores now 72 to 63. Iowa up. Quick pass inside. Easy for Johnson. LSU is not out of this yet. 72 to 65 as Clark brings it down the court. Gets a nice screen. Sidesteps three. Shot goes in. And it is back to a 10-point game, 75 to 65. As we approach the eight-minute mark, Clark kicks the ball out of bounds. shorter well I, I think the most important thing ron is is if you feel better you know that's all that matters as long as you feel better bro you know and that's going to be a foul and lsu will go to the line yeah as long as you feel better ron that's all that matters man without a doubt uh, Tyrone says a whole lot of people showed up to root for Iowa in the end of the third quarter. As Van Litz shoots the first free throw hit, score is now 75-66, nine-point game. 
And hits the second. Eight-point game. Seven minutes and 47 seconds left. Iowa has the ball. Quick pass back over to Clark. Drives inside. Nice pass. And that's going to be out of bounds. LSU ball. Another turnover. Reese on the good defense. Candy Girl, what up? Says happy Monday, happy April. Let's go. Shout out to you, Candy Girl. Quick pass over to Johnson. Reese sets the screen, drives inside, loses the ball. Morrow couldn't handle it, loses it, and now that's going to lead to a foul. Iowa ball. 75-67 with seven minutes left in this fourth quarter. Iowa with the eight-point lead. As far as the votes go, Iowa's up 54%. Shout out to you guys for the votes. As Clark with another long three. Can't hit. And Martin saves the rebound. Gets it back over to Clark. She'll drive inside, kicks it inside. It's going to be a kickball on Reese. Iowa keeps it. LSU has 18 offensive rebounds, and they're down, which is insane. As Martin goes off the glass, scores now 77-67, back to a 10-point game. Pass inside to Johnson. Won't go. And rebound by Clark. Guarded by Van Lith. Kicks it back inside. What a dime, but what a better block by Reese as it goes out of bounds. Still Iowa ball. Clark has had some amazing dimes in this game. Just the court vision is great by Clark as Marshall kicks it out. Gets it back to Clark. Van Lith steps up. Drives in. Off the glass. In and out as Reese gets the rebound. As Poa kicks it inside to Williams. Shoots the three. Hand in her face. Can't hit. Iowa rebound. Should have stuck with it. You would have got the rebound. Martin long three. Can't answer. Or can't hit. And that's going to go out of bounds. So 10-point game, 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Both teams have went cold as far as shooting. Uh, Dutenzo says, to be honest, I'm not rooting for a team. I'm rooting for Kalen Clark. Shout out to you, Dutenzo. Steven says, 34, 6, and 10 is crazy stat line with 6 minutes left in the game. That is a fact. So Poa kicks it inside off the glass that goes as Morrow has 14 points. It's now 77 to 69 with five minutes and 25 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Good defense goes straight up with Clark. Can't hit. And it's going to be a kickball in LSU. Majors, what up, yo? Philly in the house. I've been good, man. How you been? I've been good. Feeling good. Enjoying enjoying the time with you guys. College basketball. Here we go. Quick pass over to Clark. Steps back. Long three. <laughs> what a shot. It is 80 to 69. 11 point game. Clark has been unstoppable. Wow. Uh, Quinn says, why does Reese get so much hate? Don't understand it. Um, I don't think she gets that so much hate. I mean, are, are you, are, in what way are you talking? Right. I think, 
people were really upset as far as, you know, the the trash talk that her and Caitlyn had, which there's no reason to be upset about it. Um, but, uh, you know, unfortunately, people pick sides. You know, people pick sides in certain situations, and that's just the reality of it, you know? Um, whether you love LSU, whether you love Iowa, you know, or you're just a fan of the game, um, there's a, you know, I I will say this. I think this is the one year where, uh, well, maybe not. I'd say this is the the yeah the, the one year in regards to women's basketball where you know there there was a clear <laughs> there was there was a clear hatred towards certain players you know on both sides and it's 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 wild but that's I think that's what college rivalry is all about you know when you look at you know Alabama games Georgia games you know Tennessee games though you know all those games people live and die by, you know, these teams. So, you know, it's just turned into a rivalry now. That's all. Uh, she trashed Caitlin when they won last year. Well, you know, Caitlin started it and then Angel finished it. So, you know, that's, that's basketball. That's, that's trash talking in sports. It's just how it goes. Uh, Steven says that LA times writer apologized for calling them, what w taunts and villains that's crazy uh quentin says i feel like trash talk is for the game so when people cry about it it shows that you shouldn't be watching the sport you know i think that's that's people's opinions right some people understand it. people get upset by it that's just the reality of it you know and when when you get emotional as far as for people trash talking and something that people have been trash talking in for years you know, he's got a question whether or not the sport's for you and whether or not, you know, it makes sense for you to watch it. That's all. That's all. So, Bible Man says, we need football back. We got the draft in a couple weeks. We got the draft in a couple weeks, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. Shout out to you guys, though, as we're in a quick timeout commercial break. Four minutes and 49 seconds left in this fourth quarter. If you have not... Make sure that you hit that like, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Click that bell, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. I do thank you all for rocking with us tonight. A uh, very interesting game, without a doubt. You know, Iowa taking the lead. Uh, Caitlin Clark going on an amazing run. Scores now 80-69. to 69. It's an 11-point game. Uh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's still plenty of time if LSU can figure out some offense. But right now, Iowa's looking like they've got it under control. It's looking like they've got it under control for sure. Uh, JD says, if you can't trash talk, don't watch UFC. <laughs> uh, Phillips says, these young ladies are good. Yes, definitely are, without a doubt. All right, here we go. As we get back to it, Iowa will inbound as Clark We'll bring it down the court, guarded by Johnson. Quick pass over to Martin on the right wing. Gets it back over to Clark, guarded closely. Drives through, gets a screen set. A falter kicks it back out. Martin, fader, what a shot. That goes and scores now 82 to 69. Iowa, four minutes and 13 seconds left in the clock in this fourth quarter as Van Lith brings it down for LSU, guarded by Clark. Kicks it out to Johnson. Drives in off the glass. That shot goes. Back to an 11-point game. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in this fourth quarter as Clark slows everything down. And if you're on defense, you need to step up and force her to move. As she steps back, shoots a long three. That's going to go roll off the front of the rim. And then it goes out of bounds. LSU ball. 
Shout out says, did you hear police are looking for Rashi? Right? Yeah, I posted I posted that up yesterday. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Major says, you look more crisp. Have you updated your equipment? It looks good. Um, No, but the lighting. Maybe the lighting. I've, I've got a different light over here now, which I even forgot to turn on my other light, which I'll just turn it on now. But yeah, the which that's super bright. Um, the lighting has changed because I switched some things around. But um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot, man. You know, I gotta gotta keep keep the updates going for y'all. Gotta keep the updates going for y'all. Added some lights, make things a little bit brighter. So here we go, eighty-two to seventy-one. Iowa will inbound as Clark brings it back down the court, guarded by Johnson. Clark drives inside. And that's going to be a travel. That's going to be a travel. Move that pivot foot after she stopped dribbling. And she looks upset, shaking her head. Well, you can't move that foot, Clark. Come on now. As Van Lith brings it back down, guarded by Clark, kicks it inside. Nice pass to Reese. High off the glass. Doesn't go. She'll get her rebound back, and they get fouled. And she'll go to the line for two. Uh, Ron says, Jay, I'm very disappointed by being in last place. I'm back now. I need to surpass everyone by the end of the week. Shout out to you, Ron. Let's go, man. Let's go. You know, you know, you know, I rock, I rock with you regardless, man. It's all love. It's all love. I appreciate it. each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. Uh, D. Tenzel says, speaking of cops, I wonder if Diddy is at the game. <laughs> I'm not going there. It's a 10 point game, 82 to 72. As Clark trying to take as much time off the clock as she can. Create some space, quick pass inside, gets it back. Nice dime and one off the glass. Iowa has just been gunning and has outplayed LSU offensively wow 84 72 and they will go up to shoot a free throw here and that's going to be off as reese gets the rebound quick pass to van lith shoots and that's going to be way off took a quick shot and now things are starting to look a little shaky as Time's running out. Sidestep three. Clark can't hit. Rebound Reese. Williams drives all the way and gets a crazy shot to go in. Uh, but now it's a 10 point game. 10 point game. Minute 55 on the clock. Uh. Yeah, that's my fault. I don't know why this thing is still here. I got you. There you go. There you go. No brackets left intact. Yeah, you already knew that. Uh, May just says, bro, I just seen the seen the hat. Come on now. You already knew this. I think you forgot. That's what it is. But then I think you forgot. Stephen K says it's over. Yeah, it's it's looking like it, my friend. It is it is definitely looking like it's over, unfortunately. But hey, shout out to Iowa for, you know, just putting putting in the work and, and being consistent with their offense and you know, keeping that distance because the, the most important part is to not take your foot off the gas. And that's what I was been able to do is, is just keep going. You know, there's been moments where LSU, you know, came back and had the momentum, but too many mistakes, leaving Clark wide open for long threes, not playing, you know, upon or not playing good defense. And that's going to be the, the big thing that 
I think everyone should be looking at going into the final four and potentially a championship, how to guard Caitlin. So, yeah. Stephen Cases, are you streaming the UConn game? Uh, no, I will be streaming over the next few days, but I won't be streaming the, the UConn USC game later. As Iowa will inbound, gets it over to Martin, loses the ball. Okay, so Reese. Oh, Reese gets called with the charge. And coach is upset because she felt like she was moving her feet. From what I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's 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 a charge. It's really unfortunate, but hey. Yeah, yeah, she moved that foot. That's not a charge. That's not a charge. That should be a black and foul. Uh, shout out to Gene. Says West Virginia had the best def defense. Let's go. AK says it's over for LSU. Charles said good call. Jay, are you looking to cover the Natty? Yeah, without a doubt. Hundred percent. Yeah, we do. We doing the championships for sure. That is a fact, my friend. Uh, Stephen K says block charge calls are tough. Yeah, I mean, you you know the charge though when it, it's not a charge when they move their feet. You know, it's just the reality of it. And her feet shifted, and unfortunately, the ref called it. But I mean, Van Lift shoots the three here. That's going to be off. Van Lift did not step up for LSU at all. She made a lot of questionable shots, for some things. She complained a lot. Um, so maybe LSU needs to, you know, figure things out with her as far as a, a you know, different point guard. Cause Van Lift did, did not show up in this game at all. But there will be a turnover here. LSU ball a minute 20 on the clock score is 86 to 74. And here we go. Quick pass to the corner. Kicks it out. High off the glass. Doesn't go for Johnson. Iowa rebound. And we're down to a minute and 11. And there's going to be a foul. Uh, without instant replay, it's tough for refs to get it right the first time. Yeah, I, I mean, that's true. But I think at the same time, are you paying attention to just the block or are you paying attention to their feet? You know, I think that's, that's what's important. So more free throws here for Iowa as they'll hit the first one here. Score is now 87, 74. Shout out to you, Brady. Much love you. 14 point lead for Ella, for Iowa, 88 to 74, as there's going to be a foul here now for Williams as she'll go to the line for LSU. Uh LSU had a tough had a good run, but Iowa was better this time. Yeah, yeah. You know, LSU was the underdog for a reason. Um especially with Reese not being at a hundred percent, you know, that that's a big, big loss as far as, you know, having her not at a hundred percent. And, um, it's just the reality of it. But at the end of the day, you know, full credit to Iowa for coming out and playing the way that they needed to. And Caitlin Clark for being the best player on the court, because without a doubt, you know, if you don't play proper, defense on her she's going to score she's going to create that space and um you know she's got great court aware court awareness she's playing at a different level she's definitely playing at a different level so 
Yeah, we'll definitely uh be looking to see how she can if she, if she can get to the championship because uh I think she's on her way. I definitely think she's on her way. Refs have a tough job. Yeah, I mean they do. And sometimes, you know, they they get it completely wrong. So yeah, it's just the reality of it. So 59.5 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Score is currently 88 to 76. As Iowa will re will inbound. And Falter is going to get fouled by Williams. Shout out to you guys. 57% for the votes. Iowa fans came through and got it right. Also, shout out to you guys for hitting that like, that thumbs up. I do appreciate all the love and support. Uh, if you have not, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. Click that bell. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. Shout out to you guys for rocking with us tonight. Uh, second free throw goes in. Score is now 90 to 76, 14 point game. Williams hits the three. And now it's 11 point game with 52.7 seconds. So, I mean, now it's going to be a lot of fouls and all that kind of stuff. But unless they're able to hit a three every time, I think this could potentially be over. With that said, Kaylin Clark had 37 points, went 13 of 29, seven rebounds, 12 assists. Reese, 17 points, went seven of 21, 20 rebounds, and four assists. Clark definitely being way more productive tonight, leading this Iowa team to a potential victory. And uh, it's been nothing short of stellar, for sure. For sure. Shout out to you, Steven. Much love, man. Clark has brought WNCAA basketball into the mainstream. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, she's bringing the views now. She's bringing the tickets, the ticket sales, also increasing the prices for these games. So, um, you know, that's that's huge. That's huge. And she's not just, you know, a person who's done it one year, you know, this is pretty much the third year that, you know, she's been able to really, really stand out and shine and, um, you know, show the world that there are talented, you know, women basketball players that can play at a different level than what we've seen before. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what Iowa can do. And um, like I said, I'm hoping that she can get to the championship and, and, and get one under her belt before she decides to go to the WNBA because I think that's very important. I think that's very important. Low Budget says that's a wrap. Congrats to Iowa. Will Caitlin point to her finger soon? I, I We're, we're going to see. We're going to see. As Clark's just dribbling around, quick pass. And they're just going to try to run this clock here. And Clark gets fouled. She'll go to the line for free throws. 41 seconds. Phenomenal talent. Yeah, without a doubt. Charlotte, shout out to you. Much love. Thank you for being here. It's always a good time. It is always a good time for sure. So the first free throw goes. Score is now 91 to 79. Uh, she won't point to her finger because she doesn't have one. <laughs> As Van Lith steps up, kicks it out. Poa three. That's an and one. That's a bad foul, Clark. I mean, uh, it was a doesn't matter, but you know, why would you why would you hit her hand? Come on now. So Poe is gonna shoot a free throw here, try to make it a nine point game. And that's gonna be in and out. 
And still, it goes out of bounds, but it's still LSU ball. So, uh, 33.8. Kicks it out. Dan Lith for three. Can't hit. Morrow can't hit. Cleaned up by Johnson. So, now it's an eight-point game. 26.1 on the clock. Uh, Clark is a standout player in NCAA basketball, period. Could name one men's star by name. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing about men's basketball is you have various different, very good NCAA men's basketball players. There's a clear difference from what Caitlin Clark is doing on the court opposed to the competition. And I think that's uh I think that's you know the the reality of it. So a ring, I mean <laughs> shout out to you, Steven. Here we go. Quick inbound to Clark. She'll get fouled again. And she'll go to the line to potentially get 40 for the night. 40 for the night. With 25.1 on the clock score is 92 to 84. Kaylin Clark is back at the line. And hits the first free throw. 40 points. And now it's a second, 41. Caitlin Clark with 41 points tonight. Johnson, long three, doesn't go. Moral rebound doesn't go. And Iowa gets the rebound, and they'll get fouled again with 14.2 and then go back to the line. <laughs> what? John 17, you're hilarious, man. Uh, 47 and 12. That's called dominating. That's for sure. That is for sure. So 14.2 seconds, 10 point game. Iowa back at the line shooting two. And they'll miss the first one. Uh, Shada says, who do you think will win between Connecticut and USC? Listen, I like Juju and Paige, but I think out of those two, I think Juju has more in her bag. So I'm probably going to roll with USC. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with USC. So score is now 90-47 after that last three was made by LSU. 7.9 on the clock. 7.9 on the clock. Shout out to you guys for hitting that like, that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. 73. Can we get to 100? We just need 27 more. 27 more likes. 27 more thumbs up. I do appreciate all of you for rocking with us. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Click that bell, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a stream for college, NBA, NFL, and more. Uh, I will be streaming championship games, so make sure you guys lock it in. Always a good time. So make sure you do subscribe. This is UConn will win that game. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a good one for sure. So 7.9 on the clock left in the fourth quarter. This is potentially over, I would say, barring some kind of miracle at this point. But uh, Iowa will inbound here. Here we go. Quick pass into Clark. And she's just going to dribble it out, and that will be it, ladies and gentlemen. Kaitlyn 
Clark and these Iowa Hawkeyes win the rematch 94 to 87, and they will be heading to the final four. They'll be heading to the final four and uh, we'll know who they're playing between USC and UConn as they'll be playing after this game to move on for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. To move on to the championship. Shout out to you, Philip. Much love, man. Always a good time. Uh, will Caitlin do the ring thing after? No, she didn't do it. She didn't do it. Uh, we need an Iowa, South Carolina natty now. Interesting. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, no, like, you know, it, for me, I think what we've seen out of LSU is a team that, you know, probably wasn't prepared, wasn't ready, especially with, you know, having injured injured key players. But with that said, we're not going to discredit Iowa at, at all because they came into play. Um, they outplayed LSU. Kaylin Clark was absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, she found a way to utilize her team. And, and like I said before, being becoming a leader in this game and actually understanding how to lead your team to a victory is what she did tonight. And that's great. That's great for Iowa. This further increases on her legacy. She had 41 points tonight. So uh, that's huge. That's huge. She'll be moving on to the final four. And um, you know, we'll see if they potentially go to the go to the championship. With that said, UConn and USC coming up next. Um, I will be streaming the championships, so make sure you guys lock in and subscribe. Uh, I do thank each and every one of you for rocking with me. Shout out to the wrench gang, shout out to the family, all the listeners, all the watchers. I do thank you all. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Probably do like a prediction video tomorrow or something like that. But yeah, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Shout out to you guys, everybody. Have a great, great evening. And uh, you'll probably see you tomorrow. Peace out. Uh, one more question. Detento says... Do you think guys should be able to coach the women's? Um, yeah, why not? You know, I think they understand the the role of the game and and you know how they're supposed to, um, you know, coach women. It's just like they would coach men. You know, I don't think there's really any kind of specific difference of why it would matter if there's a woman or a man coach. You know, my big thing is, uh, just find the best person for the job. You know, whether it's a male or female. So, yeah. Uh, there's no woman coaching men. Uh, there's women coaches. You know, or they're a part of the team somewhere. But there's, you know, women coaches. We talk about from like a head coach point of view. No, but, you know, they're, they're coaches for other things within different leagues and different sports and different teams. So, yeah, like I said, just find the best the best person for the job. And, uh, you know, that's it. But, yeah, I'm out of here. Shout out to Iowa. And uh, maybe next year for LSU. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.